we've already seen the informal idea of how to get to a regular expression by state elimination from a finite automaton and we'll have a closer look in this video at the details. The first thing we're looking at is the general elimination of a state, how it works in general. So we assume we would like to eliminate a non-initial and non-accepting state QE. We further assume that there's a predecessor Q1 and a successor state Q1 prime. If we have these two, then it's possible to go from Q1 to Q1 prime directly with a direct transition, this transition here, which is annotated by H11. So there might be a direct transition and it might be possible to go to Q1 prime via QE because Q1 is a predecessor and Q1 prime is a successor. So it's possible to go from Q1 via E1 to QE, then take the transition F, stay in QE, and then take the transition G1 and go to Q1 prime. And therefore, when eliminating QE here, we have to add a transition covering both possibilities, both paths. So we add a transition, direct transition from Q1 to Q1 prime, and we annotate it first with E1, F star, because we can take this loop here a couple of times, and then G1, so we end up with E1, F star, G1, or H11, because we could have taken the direct route in the first place. And we have to do this for all pairs of predecessor and successor states of QE. So we obtain all the other regular expressions that we have here and here and here. After considering the state em elimination in detail, we have a closer look at the general algorithm, so how to get from an NFA to an, a regular expression by state elimination. And the idea still is that we annotate uh, the transitions with regular expressions and missing transitions correspond to the empty set. The state elimination approach requires that there's only one initial state and one accepting state. So we pick an uh, initial state Q0 and an accepting state Qf and then we do state elimination for this pair. If the initial state is not also accepting, we end up in, with this case here, we end up with two states, an initial state and a final state. And for this case, the regular expression is given here. And the idea is as follows. We start in Q0, then to go to Q0 again, we can either take this loop with the E, or we can take the F transition, take an arbitrary number of H transitions to loop here, and then take the G to go back to Q0. And this is the first part, to go from Q0 to Q0. This can be done an arbitrary number of times, so we have a star here because we can take this transition, take this f, the g, and so on. At some point we have to decide that we are done with it and we take the last f transition to go to the final accepting state, qf, and in qf we can do a couple of h loops, so we get this h star here. On the other hand, if the initial state is also accepting, they are the same, then we just uh, end up with one state and an expression E. And the regular expression for, for this automaton is E star because we can just take the E loop for a couple of times. And this approach has to be done for all the possible combinations of initial state and accepting state. And the result of all these uh, regular expressions, they have to combine by plus. So the uh, regular expression for the automaton is the union of all the um, expressions obtained by the steps above.